you know, a bit, a bit of peeps. So when I was a, a young boy, my grandmothers started introducing me to God and why he came to die for us because of the sin we do against him. And so when um, I started pursuing God, I started to re think that it was based on like the good things I did more than um, being saved by God's grace and just having faith in him. So as I was getting uh, older and older, the context I was in here uh, in, in the States kind of forced me to believe, at least the context I was in my bubble, was the more wealth and success and the good things I do, the more likely I was to get into heaven. And then something radically changed. Um, as soon as I went into the mission field for about a year, I went to 11 countries and I got to see Christianity in so many different contexts where people were also wealthy, people were in poverty and everywhere between. And when I started reading 1 Timothy 6 in that new light, um, verses like true godliness with contentment is it is itself great wealth um, and we came into the world with nothing and we won't leave with anything. So when I started to uh, come into the faith truly, that's when I realized, wow, when I was baptized as a 12 year old, I really didn't understand God and I didn't really understand his gospel, his good news, the way I did as I started to actually read the word and be around God's people consistently. And so. I started to have a more full view of who God was, what He wanted for us in our lives, and that's when I started to feel the weight of um, my sin lifted, the weight of me having to put all this effort in and really just having freedom in knowing that um, you know, Christ did all the work and I can just uh, you know, be with Him and do His work. So that's really, um, you know, my story, just understanding and reading the word on a regular basis while I was overseas and seeing uh, the world and how God is using his people made me understand what he actually did for me and for the church. Now I want to get baptized uh, with the brook because you guys are amazing. But I think it's now appropriate for me to get baptized knowing the true gospel and I can't wait to proclaim it to everyone else um, that I'm totally surrendered to Jesus Christ and I want it to be known.